I'm gonna do it the way that I've always wanted to do it and just build a big bonfire. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Let me walk a little bit farther away so it's not so loud. I didn't even think about it on the last video and I was standing right in front of it talking. He couldn't hardly hear me talking over the tractor, so I'll walk a little bit farther away. So the weatherman, it's the only job where you can be wrong 90% of the time and still keep your job. <laughs> it was supposed to be pouring rain today and we've only had a few sprinklings. So I'm gonna run the risk of doing a time sensitive outdoor project today. I've got a lot of brush down there in the dugout that needs to be dealt with. I've needed to deal with it for quite a while, but I've just been waiting for the weather to be right. Every year since we've been here, usually in January, February, while it's drizzly and cold and very nice to do this type of job, I make biochar. Today, that is what I'm gonna be working on. I've tried doing it in a retort, which is a canister inside of your fire that has wood in it. That works all right, but for right now, I'm gonna do it the way that I've always wanted to do it and just build a big bonfire, wait till it's mostly burned down, put it out with a hose. I'm gonna do it the easy method. At the end of the day, any charcoal is usable, so that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as that tractor's warmed up, I'm gonna go down here to the, uh, the dugout down there where all the brush is. Um, a lot of this brush is probably two and a half years old now. It's been sitting there for quite a while. I've added to it, so there's some fresher stuff, but for the most part, this stuff is gonna be so old and dry, I bet you I'd just look at it cross-eyed and it would light on fire. All right, so down here, this is the dugout. Um, when we cleared up there, we just threw all the brush just down the hill. It was horribly convenient for clearing, having a, you know, an overhang that we could just throw stuff off of. But uh, yeah, it's been here a long time. Berries are growing through it. It's just kind of a, a big jumbled mess. Um, and it would be nice to have it dealt with. So we'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll clean up a mess and we'll turn it into something useful, which is charcoal. Charcoal has lots of uses. Um, the use that I am using it for has proven to be very, very handy. I suppose in the coming videos, as I have charcoal, assuming everything goes all right today, I'll show you guys how to make biochar, or, or at least how I make biochar. All right, I'm gonna quit talking and go grab the tractor. save that piece of cedar I see poking out right there that's a nice pretty piece of cedar this stuff's amazing it doesn't rot all right you want to do the honors we'll see if we need a weed burner if we can get it done with the little blowtorch it's probably dry enough even with all this rain we've had but we'll see <laughs> it's not one to burn is it it's burning but it's not very well Oh, here comes Brett with some tender. Go ahead, Brett. Maybe? It might. Go to a different spot and get another fire going. Bring in the big gun.
All right, got some more stuff. I was hoping to get some drier stuff, you know, some of that stuff that's kind of on top, but everything is kind of just wet and soggy because it's been, it's just like this drizzle, this just like mist, heavy, heavy fog mist that we've had for a couple days now. It just, everything's wet, everything's soaked. So who knows, I may have to abandon this, but I'm pretty sure I say that every time. It's like, ah, oh, it's too wet. Go do something else. And then get the right spot with the blowtorch and it all goes up. So, I'm gonna try again. Get that weed burner in there. Might get another weed burner. Have two of them going. All right, so it's taking some doing. Um, I had the other two boys, Brett and Tyler, go grab me some fatty lighter pine that's up there in the woods. After the pigs have come through and like disturbed everything, they won't mess with it. They just roll it out of the way. So it's after the disturbance of the pigs, it's very, very easy to spot where all the fatty lighter pine is. For those who don't know, fatty lighter pine is basically like pine that has all of its like sap and resin just concentrated. Um, it never drained out of the tree. Usually it's like, lightning strikes or trees that fell over and didn't like get to drain properly you know all their their sap and everything and so it's usually in the heartwood of the tree the rest of the the wood rots off and all you're left with is this weird looking kind of like this lighter color stick that's fatty lighter pine and uh even the fatty lighter pine is having a hard time going but when i take that torch and put the torch to it it is an inferno so we're gonna get a couple more pieces of fatty lighter pine and stuff them underneath. And once we can get those burning, that'll get the rest of the pile to go. All right, we got her going. Now we just wait. Finally got that going, that took a while. So there's such a like a large variety of different size pieces of wood. A lot of the smaller brush is going to burn up first and just become ash. And then once I wet this down and put it out, the ash will just be gone and it'll be lost. Not a big deal, it's not gonna hurt the soil right here. The main thing I'm waiting for is a lot of the bigger chunky stuff. I want all that stuff gone. Um, there's a tree in there that's probably six inches in diameter. It's not gonna burn up, which is fine. I can burn it later. Yeah, so basically I'm just waiting for the whole pile to finally burn. And once it's starting to like get to the point where it's gonna go out, then I'll put it out. It is kind of later in the afternoon. So like having all the cloud cover, we're starting to lose daylight, which isn't a big deal, but the nice thing is you can see the fire now. But once it's dark, I have to get flashlights and stuff out here. I'm just kind of whatever it is what it is but what i will do is once i put this out i'll stir it i'll make sure there's no pockets of uh coals left because what that'll actually do is reignite the charcoal that you just made if you leave it and you'll come out here the next morning and it, you can tell exactly where there was a spot that still had fire in it and everything will be ash moving away in like a, a ring away from that point I've done that before, basically counted my chickens before they were hatched and was like, look at all this charcoal, this is awesome. I didn't dig down far enough and there was embers that were somehow, like I put tons and tons of water on the fire and thought it was out. It wasn't. Smokey the bear would have been very ashamed. Anyways, came out the next morning and half of my charcoal had turned into ash because it just reignited and continued burning until there's nothing left. It'll probably be a lot easier with a tractor because I can really get under it and stir it and knock it down. 
Uh, this is just the waiting game. Nice thing about this is there's really no rush. You just let the fire do its thing, and then once it looks like it's down enough, you just put it out. And then whenever I get to it, I will come back, I will load up all of that charcoal, and I'll set down a board, and I'm gonna crush all of that charcoal to where it's all the same particle size. And then that will get used to make biochar. What is biochar, Ben? What is biochar? Why, are, why is everybody talking about biochar? All right, biochar is actually amazing. I have been using biochar for a while now. Last year, if you guys remember, I did this. Um, I made charcoal in a couple, di couple different ways, then did the same thing. I loaded it all up, took it up top where I had some, some boards that I dumped the compost on when we were having compost delivered, ran it over with the lawnmower until it was all the same size, and then you take it, and in my case, I went and got cow manure, put it in buckets, added water, let it just sit there. This year I'm gonna do something different. Stay tuned, I'll, I'll show you guys that. But you you wanna charge it. Um, basically what happens if you're to take charcoal and mix it into your garden soil, because it's not charged already, there is no, no life to it, there's nothing in it, it's just carbon, it can actually tie up your nitrogen in your soil, which is kind of frustrating. By taking it, in my case, I'm gonna load it with nitrogen and little critters and bugs and soil life, I'll probably use some compost too. It'll be compost and manure and water. We'll get all of that charcoal charged up with all that good stuff and then when we mix it into the soil, all of that stuff is now down in the soil actually giving back to the soil rather than tying up. So it's it's really amazing. If you've never heard of biochar, go look it up. It's, it's kind of cool. So I think I'm gonna set this camera back on time-lapse and We'll just keep plugging along. All right, as you can see, the umbrellas are out. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this short. I uh, ran up to the house and uh, it started sprinkling. I was like, uh-oh, it's not bad rain, it's just kind of sprinkling sprinkled off and on all day long all right i actually think i am going to put this out i can save all of the unburned stuff just set it aside and that'll be the start of my next burn pile whenever that happens to be it might be six months might be a year if you guys remember when troy and kelly of red Toolhouse came out here right after buggy was born they helped us clear all of that up there and rather than dealing with this, the brush right then, we just chucked it all over the side of the dugout, which made clearing really nice. But me and the boys standing here talking, we're talking about last time I did this, which was about a year ago. It's, I, I like to wait until I'm not gonna sweat profusely while I'm making charcoal. Our brush pile was all the way out past where our fire currently is, uh, probably about to the tractor. Like, it was huge, and so, just turning it into charcoal as I need charcoal, and you know, when I have a minute, weather permitting, uh, it has taken a while to burn through all this stuff. Now I will say, if you look at this, this is where I came in with the tractor and scooped out stuff. This stuff is well on its way to composting in place. It is so just rotten. Some of the ones down on the bottom are covered in mushrooms. Yeah, there's, there's a good example. Let's see. There's a good example, that's a great example right there, covered in mushrooms. Nature is taking care of this problem whether I'm ready or not. It's not a big deal if stuff stays, it's not a big deal if it gets turned into charcoal. There will be more brush. The thing about wood is it literally grows on trees out here, so there will be more brush. I think I'm going to put this out right now, that way I can get out of the rain. Plus I'm losing daylight, I don't want to be down here doing all this with all the tools and whatever else out. Too bad, like it finally, we finally got it going and I'm going to put it out. But it's all right, we'll put it out and see what kind of charcoal we got.
All right, so I'll probably come out here after dinner. Meg uh, just rang the bell, so it's time to eat. If there is steam, that's a good indication there's still coals. That's what I've always judged by. I see some steam in that stuff. Chances are, not being in a bed of coals, that stuff will just go out. But, you know, don't just assume. And then over here, I see some steam there. But for the most part, there's all of our beautiful charcoal. That's a ton of charcoal. It's probably not as much as I think it is. There's probably like a swell in the ground right there. So it looks like more, but that's a lot of charcoal. All right, I think that is gonna do it for outside stuff right now. So we're gonna go up and eat dinner. Right, pardon the fogged camera. It was cold oh, no. out there and it's warm and humid in here. <laughs> so what did you make, lady? Fire cider chicken, uh, green beans, rice, and Jack made brownies. Yay! <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Well, I am morte de fame, so Are let's you? eat. All right. <sighs> Much good. better. Good. Down there, getting hungry. I don't like to leave a fire like that. Right. I, I just don't. Maybe it's just. Where I grew up, yeah, you know, out west, it's so dry all the time. You don't walk away from a fire because little ember, little you know, spark flying through the air, and boom, forest fire. Out here, it takes a lot of work to get a fire started. <laughs> Everything's so wet and green and slimy. Yeah. Especially when you have water that just falls out of the sky every day. Yes. It's quite quite a chore. Thank you for dinner. Well, that was that was good. Alrighty, I think we're gonna wrap it up right here. A little bit shorter of a vlog. I got a late start today, so. Yep. Alrighty, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.